Hello guys, hello and welcome to another episode of Hearts Fun 4 Infection Mob and Germany vs Zombies. Last episode we had the unfortunate accident happen that we had to end it before I could clean out these horrible Vortigors. Ugh. Ugh. Both here in Italy, oh, in Italy, in Yugoslavia and up here in Poland. So, oh god, let's fix that ASAP. Uh, that time, please, actually please, you go in right there and you can take down that enemy instead. Uh, then all of you should pretty much just clean out this without any big problems, hopefully. Uh, you can go in right here, cut them off, you two can help supporting that unit and that should be pretty fine. You guys, um, let's try to do like this, invade. Please invade them right there. We have quite a bit of units right here on the front, but maybe not enough actually. Sure, let's try it anyway. Soviet Union isn't that strong right now. They do have, well, 111 divisions at least. But I have tanks. Tanks versus division, quantity versus quality. I'll always go by quality. Depends on if the quantity isn't much, much, much more than the quality. Of course. Uh, so let's see. This is just a war goal against Yugoslavia. Let's remove that one. Bismarck class level 3. So that's a good thing. Uh, do we need to upgrade it? You will be upgraded. Yeah, 10 days production. But both of you will finish what you're doing. And the rest of you will go to... There we go. There, there. And up. There. And Kriegsmarine. And Kriegsmarine. Cool. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we clean up the last parts right here in Poland without any big problems. Good. I was a bit worried that they might be able to hold on a bit too long right here. Since they held Danzig and had a... Well, actually two ports. But only one useful. Be able to hold them down. And Turkey has fallen. Oh, we just went in and took everything right here. And that meant the zombie horde got everything. Really? Wow. Um, but the big question is, why can I move in right here? We should be at war with them. Yeah, we are. But we can't move in. Um, are you not at war with... Now you're at war with zombie horde. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, you need to continue. Because it's time for us to fight against zombies. Finally. Finally, we're taking the fight to the, to the real enemy, really. We've just been, um, well, eating up random human nations right now. That feel I didn't think I would ever say that before in Hoi. But yeah, random human nations until until now. When we're finally facing the zombies on a front line on a large freaking scale. No longer the small skirmishes we had right here or right here before. But now on a real large scale. Most likely. Right now we only have 10 divisions right here. They're going to be assigned here. But eventually we're going to reach even more land. Once we have, well, at least brought down Soviet Union, then the real fighting is going to begin. But until that moment, we can still have some fun. Uh, why is this front line not assigned over the entire thing? So please, yes, come on. One, two, one, two, one, two. Shop, shop. Get over there. And all of them, these tanks are not... All right, you're the two tanks right there. You can actually be assigned right here to the extra troops right here. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Uh, we have a ton more divisions being assigned right here. Why? Was it just because I needed more troops on the front line? It might have been. But now when we're using these 24 tank divisions at well, we should be pretty equal to them. Actually, both of you can just relax for a while until everyone have arrived. Then we will change it out. You 24 division should all be assigned right here. And I'm just gonna drag out this line a tiny bit. Come on, come on, stop messing with me. This, and drag it out. Here, nope, there, and drag it out. Cool, thank you. So you just sort out, sort out by your line and then we're gonna push as aggressively as we possibly can. Soviet Union has a lot of enemies. They have troops not only against my front, they have front well in the south and not in the east as I was gonna say. So only me right here in the south and uh, well the other people in the south too. So I guess me in the west. Uh, Turkey has once, once again capitulated. Why? Uh, anyway, let's make sure that we get this territory because this should be ours. I don't care what Yugoslavia says, this should be ours. Uh, won't we get the Turkey has quit later one more time then because it's now me holding Istanbul. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, doesn't seem like it. Uh, so yeah, you 12 divisions. Actually, you succeeded with your entire order. Wow. Um, then let's just continue and we'll see when we finally meet the zombies. Maybe they won't actually challenge us in a while. <sighs> they should be. Polish-Romanian alliance. Yeah. I don't really know how you're doing that focus, but sure. Sure. So much sense. So much sense. Uh, let's see. What are we doing? Uh, are we missing anything? We're missing motorized and support weapons. Alright. Uh, we do have 
let's say, a couple of factories to be assigned at random places. So we, we will just massively assign them right there. And I'm pretty sure we have like f four factories assigned. No, three factories right there. So let's just give them a full line right here. And that, that will fix themselves in two seconds. You get so ridiculously much motorized, it's crazy. And let's also fix that support to one full right there. And cool, that will fix both of those issues. And I'll see if anyone more... Well, appears as soon as we charge him right there. Oh, right. I was going to fix that support issue by removing the, well, logistics right here. For these infantry guys, they barely have any supply. It's like removing that one. Okay, that was the wrong one. But where is that? Removing you would, it barely makes any difference. And you do cost 20 support equipment right there, which would fix my entire problem. Also assigning, what? how many was it? 10 plus 15, 25 more factories. That will also solve our issue. So I'm actually going to let them keep it. And just let them continue. Well, we can have it right here. And as you can see, we don't have... We're we are not challenging any zombies. Why the hell not? Just zombies, where are you? Uh, is this going to be the surprise when, I don't know, the zombies have bugged out and all of the divisions are gone or something? They maybe moved to the Rosh or Africa or something. God, the Somber Horde right here have been push pushing back Mexico, I think. I think they had completely cut them off. But right now it seems like they are turning the tides right there. Alright, pretty cool. Let's see right there. God damn it, what are you doing? No, I just wanted to charge. Stop being so damn careful. Just push in there right now and bring down Soviet Union. Uh, it shouldn't be very much we have to take from them. Of course, quite a bit, but not everything, at least. Uh, this should be... Wait, we don't have any strat bombers? Please tell me we have some strat bombers. I think we might not have it. Or oh, we should have stolen some from someone. Really? Ah, oh, damn it. No, wait, we don't have nukes. Never mind, I was gonna say we, I just wanted to nuke Soviet Union once or twice. We don't have nukes, so that's completely fine. Uh, let's see, let's transfer forward all the planes. Uh, you don't have to be transferred, you can stick exactly where you are. But the rest of you get assigned right here. I'm just gonna reassign you 400 to just be like this. Okay, I guess you can be like that and assigned right here. There you go, these 1000. I'm gonna split you up in a couple of smaller stacks. Let's say 500 and you're gonna jump right there. Actually, both of you are gonna jump right there, but you're gonna be assigned in different areas. Thank you. That works, and let's see, we have any fighters? No, we don't, but we do have some more tactical bombers, which we can, as can assign. And, well, they will pretty much counterattack them. They will not do very much damage themselves, but they can counterattack. And that was not the point. That was not the point, definitely not. Uh, you should still keep, well, to your side. Uh, let's see, you hold, hold, hold. Come on, hold, and hold. Uh, and you are pretty much holding. Good. No, 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 you're going to stay right there. The same with you. I only meant to grab the very, very units on the very far west here to push in. And we actually have two tanks right there. So if you could go right there and right there, then I would be thankful. Sorry. So, but come on, I had to do it. You can't say I shouldn't be able to do it. I am very thankful. I'm thankful. Thanksgiving. That's, that's the day when you give tanks to different people. You give a tank for what you appreciate about them. If you really... Appreciate your fierceness, you give them a tiger tank. If you really appreciate, well, their durability, you give them, I don't know, what's uh, what's a durable tank? I don't know. I, I, I suck at tanks. I really suck at tanks. Um, let's see, you're trying to push in right here. Well, you might be able to, but I can also use well, my overwhelming number of bad divisions. Just swarm the invasion points with so many divisions, it shouldn't be possible. And right here, even if you have landed right here, I can just mark a random territory and just right click on province and I would grab a bunch of units. We are really focused. <laughs> we have more division garrisoning than we have invading Soviet Union and the Zombie Horde. <laughs> Something is really wrong there. <laughs> well, we do have Yugoslavia on our side and they do have quite a bit of troops, but you're getting invaded right here by even more. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we did remove that front line, so we can take these six tanks and just assign right here. Uh, let's grab these divisions as well. You, right there. Get deployed, not add the unit. And grab all of you, assign to one front right here. 
grab a commander. Um, does really matter who, who. Let's just grab you. Sure, you're a tiny bit over your limit, but that's an 8% penalty. You still have a pretty good bonus. And just go like this, and we'll, well, eradicate them from, well, you're behind. So you don't have to deal with them. I will fix that for you, Yugoslavia. I will fix that, don't you worry. And you seem to be having more fun right here, but... Oh, actually, you did manage to succeed in evading. But that was not a port province, so... Actually, it was. It was a really good port province, but I managed to just beat the crap out of them very quickly anyway. So we're fine. Uh, there we go. Yeah, everything should be pretty fine right now. Uh, let's see, <laughs> one ugly province right there, come on, just take this down, oh crap, it's actually zombies right now, yeah, uh, time to reform, time to reform, uh, let's delete all orders you possibly might have, everyone gather up right here, and we need to really, really, really fix this now, because if it's against zombies, we're gonna need all the firepower we possibly have, which means this entire line, uh, you just go in right here as quickly as possible, just remove this invasion, you're kind of needed in Turkey right now. Because we can't, well, we can definitely not beat them right there. They can, we can maybe hold out against them. Because they're not doing that much damage. Especially these fake zombie divisions that are, well, half zombie, half normal. Actually, this is just three divisions. This is just a shitty garrison division. Yeah, we can definitely push in right there. Uh, let's see, are these also shitty garrison divisions? Uh, let's see, 900 organization, and let's see, you have, oh, uh, both of you have 900 organization, but you're, oh, right, we can't, we can't see the other divisions, but we should still see a number of how many random zombie units they have, maybe they have hidden that right now, maybe it is hidden if you're not actually assigned as, uh, let's see how well our tanks doing right here. They're doing a very good amount of damage, but, well, if they have 900 organization, it's still gonna take a very long time to wear down. Someone said, though, that I wouldn't be able to make this, and I took that as a challenge. Well, of course, because this was a challenge, but... Oh, no, 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 it wasn't. This was my Halloween special. Okay, so I took that as a challenge, and of course I'm gonna beat them. It's gonna, it's gonna take a, a bit of a time to break down that 900 organization strong. And what the hell are you doing down here? Do you think this is what I want right here? How in... Oh god, this is ugly Bordegor. Clean this out or I'm gonna fire you. Every one of you. You gonna clean up this. You should attack right here and just make sure that we bring that down. Follow Moscow, follow Leningrad at the same time. Wow, that's that's something that absolutely could and didn't happen in history. Holy crap, doing both of them at the same time. Uh, follow Baku. Baka. Uh, go in right here and take that down. Let's see, zombie horde or not. Uh, nope. I was gonna say zombie horde or not, here I come, but then nope, that was a bit too many divisions. There you go, U26 divisions get assigned right here, and we can finally say that. Zombie horde or not, here we come. Come on, get over there. One, two, one, two, one, two. And that will finally be a good division. Uh, you should actually be right here. No, 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 you should be right there because you are one of my attack divisions. Come on, get over there. Be quick, be quick about it and we can fix this. God damn it, what the hell? Are no, no, no. No longer be very aggressive. Uh, it could be nice if you could just clean out this border because then we could unite everyone. And you are just keep pushing, taking out Stalingrad as well. Soviet Union, how much left do you have? Very little. Uh, let's see. That will, yeah, yeah, you don't have any major ports or stuff later. So, what we have to do to bring you down is just generally take territory. And, of course, some small cities right and left. Let's make a border right here against the Ural Mountains. Taking everything to that, well, to that point should hopefully be enough. Let's do this. And, let's see, you go down all the way there. And you... Go all the way up there. Perfect. Well, not, maybe not perfect. Because, well, the divisions are still pretty retarded and going in. No, no division. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Everyone right there. So that's everyone assigned up here. Just get up there. I don't care about this. Actually, I kind of care about this. But you should not have this many troops down here. This should just be this small maneuver and... Ugh, God damn it. You're like barely never at war with Soviet Union and Iran, Iraq right here at the same time, so you never really have to deal with that this front never ends. Usually you push down Soviet Union right here and the front ends right here. Oh well, right here, I guess, but um, 
damn it, it's kind of annoying that we have wall right here because then we can't really cut and this front. Um, so there, well, I'm just assigning everything here to the north, so we hopefully can just, well, finish off Soviet Union before we start pushing so southwards, because then we can split up this division to here and here, and not have to worry about anything upwards. Or if we should keep both of them at the same time, then that's going to be a, a bit of a struggle. Just trying to support everything at the same time. Uh, right here, all my bombers, you are finally, well, finally done up there. So everyone should be assigned right here and be, well, very effectively placed right here. It's one single air zone right here. It's only against zombies, which means, well, no, no anti-air guns against me, which is going to be brilliant. And you can be assigned right here. And then we have a couple more planes. You can be assigned right here. Come on. And be assigned right here. So that's going to be freaking perfect. Airplanes against zombies who has none. So that's going to be excellent. Just dealing more and more damage against them. But yeah, this is going to be a really grind fest. It's going to be a very, very, very slow push against them. Come on. I want to break. Oh, we actually, we are breaking them in reasonable speed. Our tanks is doing so much damage. Oh, we have 96,000 men. What the hell happened? Oh, right. We deployed a lot of them. Uh, let's do like this. We don't need normal divisions anymore. What we do need is tanks and manpower. Uh, let's see. What else do, what else do we need, actually? Uh, let's see. What are we missing? We're missing... Mot Wait, what? Motorized and... Ta really? Oh, shite. Really missing motorized? Uh, could we reassign some to mechanized? That's actually very interesting right now because we do have some. Yes. Then let's change some to mechanize. That's going to spare us some of the motorized problem. We're going to go in right here and remove logistics. So that's going to help us both within motorized and support equipment. We're going to save that. And let's see how we're doing right now. Motorized looking much better. Support equipment looks much better. Medium tanks still looks freaking horrible. Uh, is it actually because... Yeah, it's reinforcements. 900 tanks we need out on the field now. So hello, medium tanks. Right there, right there, right there. Assign, assign, assign. And maybe some more. Maybe getting some more motorized. One more line. Come on, I thought one line would be way, way, way overdoing it. Even if we're gonna, well, be pretty bad. But come on. Let's see, you're producing 16 a day and you're only at 50%. No, you're at 42.9%, not even 50%. Ugh, God, that, that could have been better. But yeah, apparently fighting against zombies is the attrition of doom or something. We are taking a ton of attrition. Um, we are doing better now. We have surrounded them right here. We have finally made this into one front. So we're going to remove this. We're going to take you. No, not you, but you and remove that. And you guys are going to get this entire front. God, that's ugly as hell. But yeah, uh, all of you, no, get assigned up here again. Don't even try to sneak down. I don't even know why you want to sneak down right here. I thought you could be happy right here with... Well, apparently it's, it's probably pretty goddamn cold. But right here it's pretty probably pretty goddamn warm. And you have to fight against zombies. But still you choose them over... Well, actually someone, in, uh, someone made a comment about that perfectly describes what this is. Either you choose against, well, the enemy that, well, throws manpower at you. The zombies, yes, throws manpower... Or you choose the opponent that throws manpower at you, but some of them have guns. <laughs> yeah, may maybe it's zombies are the better choice when when you think about it. <laughs> That's also something I never thought I would say. Choosing zombies over Russians. Well, I, I choose zombies over Russians if I have a tank. Otherwise, I probably choose Russians. In well, yeah, yeah, I would probably yeah. Yeah, I would probably I would probably choose this front line if I sat in a tank. I would probably choose this front line if I didn't sat on, sit on a tank. Otherwise, getting eaten, becoming a zombie, yeah, that doesn't really that that is not really in my top ten list of things I want to do. Probably in my top, like if I had to choose, well, become a zombie for well all eternity. Well, if it's not too bad, it depends on what kind of zombie. If it's like a super slow one, if a fast one, if I can run, it can. I'm describing what kind of zombie I would prefer to be if I became a zombie. What the hell, Danny? How, how, did, how did my conversation suddenly just... I don't know. Turn to this? Everything from... It was from tank production to what kind of zombie do I want to be. 
What kind of zombie do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> okay. So, let's see. Let's get back into the game. Uh, we are pu still pushing very, very hard into Russia. Yeah, that's probably where a lot of these attrition losses were as well. Let's double check. What's okay? Oh, God, no. That's, that's horrible to see. Just attrition upon attrition and a lot of combat losses as well, to be surprised. I thought it, I thought it was going to be much more... Well, attrition losses than combat losses, but we do have about a third combat losses, I think. Oh, actually, let's double check this instead of guess. Um, yeah, about a third from attrition and two thirds combat loss. Oh, no, it's actually very different. Like, we can see that artillery has much more attrition than combat losses, but weapons and uh, support equipment have more combat than attrition, so it's a bit back and forward, apparently. Uh, let's upgrade these mechanized, even though we don't have enough of them. Basically, if we start to lose too much mechanized, we are just gonna well, switch back to motorized. Because this is just a temporary fix. Hopefully, these mo motorized are just gonna build up again and we can just, well, assign them back. Uh, let's see, all of these units have no tanks on the front, well, no zombies on the front line, so I guess just push in. I see a single zombie right here, but we're. I guess they gotta be right here and right here but if we just push in won't you fall won't you just fall instantly if i grab Mosul? because that's basically all your manpower all your resources everything i think it might be so uh, let's just go in right there and hope that that's gonna be it right here we have united kingdom and united states of course but yeah now that's owned by me we have 4 point, 4 point, well, wow, 4 million and 130,000 manpower, and if this is a zombie horde falling, then... No, that was actually Soviet Union. Okay, uh, let's do like this. Soviet Union. Be eaten. Thank you. And turn. Uh, Turkey. Thank you. Romania. Thank you. Poland. Thank you. Mongolia. Thank you. Really? And turn. Pass, pass, pass. Poland. Mongolia. Uh, it was a long time. I just annexed everything. So there we go. 173 states to Germany and none to you. So I want... How should I split this up? Because here is a lot of zombies at least. Uh, let's see. I'm going to grab you. Okay, let's just delete all possible orders you have. Uh, let's just do it very simple. Or... Actually... Supply here is horrendous, so I'm gonna grab all of these infantry divisions and just say, "Come on, stop, stop messing around with supply map mode." I'm just gonna grab all supply or infantry units to assign right here. I'm gonna grab all the tanks and just assign right there. Yeah, that would probably be it. Cool. And you should go in like this. And let's see, infrastructure. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, one, 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 two, three, one. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. Yeah, that's at least a bit better. Fix all that. And I would love you. Uh, some board took one state from Soviet Union. Wait, which? Which state did, didn't I get? I have no clue. Which which state could that have been? I can't find any. Uh, let's double check. Any red up here? Nope. I have no idea which state that could have been what's going on what's going on Uruguay you're on the allies German Reich is calling Peru as our ally uh, wait 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 did we just get a lot of allies or so the zombie horde suddenly got freaked out and just declared war against a bunch of nations and did we just get a bunch of allies uh, Yugoslavia, Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia, Greece, Finland, Peru. You just suddenly became my allies. Because they they were more willing to join the Axis than the allies. Alright, um, that means we are now at war with the other zombie horde. No, no, we're not. At so it was this zombie horde who just declared war against... Alright. Alright, 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 I'm, I'm kind of fine with it. Uh, I'm not going to call you into any wars, that's that's for sure. Because that would basically just be suicide for many of you nations. Many of you smaller nations. But yeah, that we got <laughs> the Baltic Axis joining us. 
All right. Uh, let's see. Anything? United States, cold in Chile, Ireland, and a bunch more donations. Yeah, sure. It's fine. It's completely fine for you to do it. I'm going to crush you either way. Uh, all of these tanks. Come on, gather around right here. Come on. Damn it. Uh, this supply is horrend horrendous. Really, 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 really bad. So building this up can't go quick enough. Uh, actually, it can go quicker if I just go to construct an engineer instead. I completely forgot to switch about that because I became super confused by that massive, well, massive call of arms. There we go. Let's fix industry everywhere so we'll go a bit faster right there as well. How is, er how is everyone doing? We have 8 million manpower right now because 8.8, .8, actually almost 9 million manpower because, well, the zombie horde, well, let us have their beautiful capital right here. And right, we got this one as well now. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, non-core manpower a bit more. Holy shit. <laughs> this is not even funny. How ridiculous amounts of manpower we get from here. Holy crap. And all the resources just... Oh, here, here's... Wait, there's even more states with ridiculous manpower. Here, 1.50... What is a G? I, I don't know what G means. It's not billion. It's not... Uh... I don't know, I have no clue. Uh, let's honor the heroes of the last war, Hindenburg and Ludendorff, sure, let's do it. Uh, and let's make this front line a bit more, well, forwardy, I guess is the best word, because we're gonna push forward. <laughs> that was horrendous, that was really bad. Uh, let's see, Afghanistan has, have you reappeared or, I don't know, are you with me or against me or you're in common turn, so, I guess you could kind of say that you're against me. I kind of want to remove you because you're in my way. So if I just fight a war right there, it's going to take a small amount of time. And meantime, let's just push in. Oh, well, you're going to try to push in right there. But we'll see how well that will actually go. Because this is going to be a lot of attrition right here. We're going to do a ton of damage, which is going to be awesome. Uh, you can see the amount of organization just goes down right there. But they're still holding on. <laughs> Let's see, this is, yeah, this is just a normal division as well with the zombie bonus. If they only had used their zombie divisions, then this would have been so much harder. <laughs> it's crazy, it's truly crazy. This would have been much, much harder if they just kept with this weird zombie division they had from the beginning. But somehow, after a load, they freaked out and just started making normal divisions instead of their overpowered zombie divisions zombie divisions which i'm kind of sad about i would have liked to have fought the real deal but um, maybe we can somehow redo this mod somewhere some uh, at some other time and well hopefully fight the real deal then it would probably just have to be that i need well a single camp episode or something and not do several parts uh, all of you need to be deployed let's deploy you right there and uh, we have all of these six units you can be right assigned right there and just put up like this and just make sure that you bring down this naval invasion, please. Uh, called in Ecuador, so a bunch of nations have been now called into this war against me. Come on, I'm fighting the zombies right now. I'm, I'm doing the good fight right now. You shouldn't declare war against me right now. You should have done it before, not now. Uh, let's split this up equally. No, 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 no. Let's split up 10 divisions right here. That should be more than enough. And this massive front line, you are going to be... No. This one should be pulled back right here and focused on Arabia and Egypt. Yeah, that would probably be better. Thank you. And let's see, you are pushing in right here. Come on, get down right here. Yep. Let's just clean this up. Let's assign Mineshine again. I know, I know you really want to attack right here and take back what you want, but you're not strong enough for that. That's why I'm assigning tanks right here to help you out. We're missing 3.3 thousand medium tanks. Well, mostly from division, re or mostly from right here, um, deployment, and not as much from reinforcement. Still, quite a bit from reinforcement. So, how about adding another billion lines for tanks? We have enough resources. <laughs> we definitely have enough resources for it. So, I see no reason to not do it. I see no reason why gunpowder tre treason should ever be forgot. Huh, Guy Fox. Uh, random rhyme that we had in English class. 
Guy Fox. Uh, let's see. Push in right here. Yeah, excellent. And there we go. Cool. Um, I'm thinking maybe we should assign something more for normal divisions. Actually, we, we can. We probably can. Since we have quite a bit of artillery right now. And it's not because of manpower. We're like, we do have enough manpower. So let's just assign a couple more artillery right here. So they will be alright. And um, what else? Damn it. And what else should we do? Let's do this. Save that. And how about these cavalry brigades? Let's assign some support uh, artillery and maybe even engineers. Yeah, we are completely fine with support equipment right now. So let's do this. And that will help, well, everyone. Uh, actually, could we assign maybe a bit more just cavalry divisions? Zom. Isn't that the zombie? Yeah, this is the zombie horde. Why do I have access to the zombie template right now? That's definitely a bug. So, let's see. They have... If you compare with the normal division... Um, basically, better recovery rate. They have less defense. They have slightly less breakthrough. They have the same soft attack. They have the same hard attack. Uh, let's see, a lot more organization, 18 organizations instead of 4, they have 100 health instead of, well, 25, uh, max speed minus 2.7, well, it's the same thing, oh, right, because this kind of division, of course, so they have the same speed, they have the same piercing, they have the same liability, the same weight, they have one infantry equipment in production cost. So that kind of explains why they could support all of their armies and why they started losing equipment. When they started to switch everything out to normal divisions, they freaked out and couldn't produce any produce enough. Otherwise, this would have been fine. Damn it! I want to fight against the real zombie horde. I became really excited now to fight against the real zombie horde. <sighs> why did that have to happen? That would have been such a massive grind. Oh, that could have been so much fun. It could have been so much fun. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, I guess maybe some other time, like I said. Maybe some other time. Uh, let's hide everything right now because we need to produce more anti air guns. Where are the anti ant? Oh, we already have it, but apparently not enough. Let's just sign another stack right here. Thank you. Uh, are we missing anything? Only medium tank still. Yeah. Yeah, only medium tanks. So all of these extra lines should really help. We have 210 lines assigned on, well, on medium tanks. So if that's not enough, then nothing will ever be enough. Uh, you just push in right there. And just take that small amount of territory, please. Thank you. And right here in Arabia, we're pushing forward extremely quickly right here. Uh, so you need to well, be focused a bit more, let's say, from edge to edge. So I guess we have a edge case on our hand. Huh? 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 Uh, no one? Uh, okay. No, never mind. Uh, we're pushing in here quite quite easily. No problems. Um, did we forget about this war run? No, it just I simply haven't finished yet, just yet. We're pushing in really quickly. I thought maybe half a year would have gone, but apparently 24 days have gone. And we're just really breaking everything extremely quickly. Very nice. Uh, going right here. It would be nice if they had custom unit models as well. But uh, someone, someone did mention a better zombie. Zombie Horde mod. Uh, if someone remembers what that one is called, could you link that to me? And I will look into it and see if I can maybe make a campaign right there. If you would like to see more, well, Nation vs. Zombie. Or if you just want to see normal campaigns. Uh, bring that down. Yeah, everything is going fine. Oh, crap. I really have to end this episode right now. Um, so, next episode, we're going to finish off the Zombie Horde. And depending on if we have time, finish off the United Kingdom and United States and maybe this Zombie Horde. It all depends on time, really, and what you want to see. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.